Hello, my friends. Sifu J here, Artist of Truth. I am here with you at this moment at the Wing Chun Institute here in Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's been raining a little bit this morning. Taking antibiotics for a little tooth issue I have going on. So if I look like I have something in my mouth, it is slightly swollen, but it is fine nonetheless. There's several things that I wanted to talk with you about today. Uh, mostly, I made a post yesterday on several of um, my social media accounts about being responsible for your own happiness and not allowing outer circumstances uh, to direct, uh, direct your life so much. Even though things that happen in the, in the outer world uh, do affect our lives, I simply mean that you, you, you cannot jump ship leaping from boat to boat, if you will, on the ocean of all these circumstances. Uh, very personal, close circumstance going on uh, with me. Not with me, but with someone close to me. And I often think about how easy it is to be caught up in doing things for, with the, seeking the approval of others. And it, it's much harder to look inside and, and think, is this really who I am? Or, I mean, we constantly change, but is it the core of the things that, that I hold uh, dear to me? Uh, my studies, my, my pastimes, whatever, those types of things. Uh, it, it, when something that breaks your heart or that uh, makes you sad interferes into your, your daily life, it's, it's very hard to keep a mindfulness going. And much easier to leap out uh, for some type of remedy, for some approval. Uh, I, through all of the years of contemplation and study, I never arrived at any type of suggestion that uh, there, there's some type of savior coming, someone that's going to pull me out of everything. Now, I do have lots of uh, mentors and teachers and, and uh, guides and people that have helped me along the way from, from lots of different disciplines in, in life, uh, martial art and philosophy, uh, religious studies, spirituality would be a better uh, phrase. However, they, they have no power to save me. They, they may sometimes have power of influence. Uh, only if when you give it, when, when you open the door for it. But we have to make a decision about what we really want in life. There's no grand answer, no perfect thing. We simply go, I'm living this life and Material possessions and material things, uh, they do bring short-term happiness, they, and they are of benefit. But they will fade. They will change. So it is, it's important for us to have some type of internal benefit, some type of um, internal discipline, something that allows us to, to ride the waves, that, that through it, we can have the, the, the high points of happiness and be able to, to float along in those moments of sadness and anger and, and um, shocking circumstance. We have to set the intention. We have to focus our minds. We have to be mindful of every moment, of the feeling of the wind upon our faces and the smell of the flowers right outside the door. Instead of just mindlessly shoveling in our food really fast, uh, not having conversations, texting, our, just texting our spouse or our family as we, as we shoot out the door, scuttle off to work, jump in the car, mm, make a few dollars, run back, spend the dollars, so we have to go back the next day, do the same thing. 
And suddenly if our relationships fall apart, then we, oh, you know, which it is, it's a daunting thing and it's, it's bad, I've been through it. But we can lose ourselves in each one of these things. We can, we start to try to change to believe I cause this because of whatever. And, and lots of times we are causing the things in our lives, but it doesn't mean in a negative way that, w- that we set out in, in that intention. Uh, you may get hit by a truck walking across the road, so essentially you caused it by deciding to walk across the road. But it's, all side of that is you weren't driving the truck. Do you understand? Are you with me? Whatever your position in life, wherever you are, vegan, carnivore, Buddhist, Christian, Muslim, human being, atheist, all that stuff, just labels. It's just labels. We we really need to, in in a secular way, in in a non group. Because uh, styles, groups, classifications tend to separate people. But just as human beings, we, we, we must seek self-enlightenment. If we can improve ourselves, we must improve ourselves first. We, we really must look within. And, and it's, it's the hardest thing to do, to do, to do this. I'm the cause. And then shape our own lives and it, so that we can, we can at least... Even if we don't have the power to magically poof, everybody's happy, but we can lead as much as we possibly can. We can be such a light that, uh, that we burn away the shadows of darkness on everyone that sees us. I don't really know how to do it. I, only, I can only set the intention. And the how unfolds as I'm moving along. It's like you can only see so far. And as you continue to go, you see a little bit more. A little bit more on the path. The closer you get, the more you can see. And it just it continues as long as we, uh, we walk in this world. Be yourself. Be happy. A lot of times on, as the artist of truth, at least for the artist of truth channel, when I'm not talking about Kung Fu and all of this, I'm talking about philosophy, but it's more of an action. I don't, I don't disagree so much with the term philosophy. It is a thinking. You have to think before you act. Even if it doesn't appear that way, you've thought about it in prior circumstance, and then so it reflects in your actions. But, and I'm always... And to, directing food and things that we put in our bodies and lots of material on here about food and there will be a lot more everything that we put into our bodies everything that we put into our mind it's very important very important Uh, with whom we surround ourselves the environment in which we we choose to put ourselves now even if you're homeless I mean you have to seek shelter in a certain way and you can seek that shelter in a sewer, or you can find yourself maybe a little cleaner spot somewhere. We can, it is our, our duty to improve the position, to use a little bit of a martial art term. We may not be out of it yet, but we can improve the position. We can, we can do our best. We can set the intention first. I want to be happy. Nobody gets up. I don't think. No one. Even people that we deem as enemies. They don't rise in the morning and go, I hope that this is the worst day ever. I just just hope it's bad. I want to feel pain. I want to lose a finger. I just want to watch children die. Nobody, no sane individual is thinking that. All people, all sentient beings, even animals, lower animals, for animals we are. All of us. We all want to be happy. I'm not sure that there's just one way to happiness outside of the fact that with an untrained mind, an undisciplined mind, an undisciplined life, happiness is always fleeting. Always. No matter the wealth, no matter the relationship. Happiness will always be running away as fast as you're running towards it.
I hope that my videos, my philosophies online, my my writings, my my insights, my insertions, just my ideas are of benefit to everyone that reads it. And although sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I become angry, I've cast off more of that in my life. I remember different times. As I stare out the window here at the, at the Wing Chun Institute, the wind blowing in the trees and the water receding in the marsh, I think about different times. I remember moments in life. I remember what things feel like. And because of that, I feel a certain way. I choose, choose to use my mind to improve my body, to improve my relationship, to improve my life. And I hope that in some way, I'm, even if it's a very small glimmer in the distance, then I'm, I'm casting a little light on the path. And that it's a benefit to, to all who are capable of seeing the words, hearing it. I'm constantly improving, I'm no savior, I make lots of mistakes, but I'm, I'm doing it. Being a student of the ancient teachings and modern sciences, the most important thing is to, sometimes you have to stop talking about it, start doing something. It's the action that's more important. Begin within, create a ripple, and affect everyone that, that you come in contact with, the environment, everything that you touch. Let it be a wonderful experience. We're doing it anyway. It can be a negative thing, and it is. You, if you open your eyes, you realize most of what is going on. I'm, I'm also creating this wave that goes everywhere with you. As Robert Thurman says, a creative wave of positivity that flows. With that, my friends, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Subscribe to my channels. Look me up on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I had a crazy thought, but I'll, I will reserve it. Subscribe to the Wing Chun Institute, Kennedy Wing Chun. We're going to be doing a lot of different uh, Kung Fu things on there. So... With that, I will turn you loose. As always, my friends, I love everyone. Talk with you soon.